Hundreds of thousands of Cubans have taken part in a commemoration to honor their former leader, Fidel Castro. They were joined by the presidents of Venezuela, Bolivia, South Africa and Zimbabwe. Chants of Viva Fidel resounded across Havana's Revolution Square as people paid tribute to the Cuban revolutionary. For many, particularly in Latin America and Africa, Fidel Castro was a symbol of resistance to imperialism. He died on Friday at the age of 90. The U.S., Canada and the U.K. are among the nations who chose not to send their leaders. Fidel has not died because they do not die. Those people who fight for their freedom, that is Fidel. Fidel has not died because the ideas don't die, especially those ideas that open the way to emancipation. Maybe we in Europe cannot even imagine the difficulties that you have had to bear, but we also have our own oppressive forces, the illogical and inhuman laws of the neoliberal markets. Keep him very close, Fidel with his wisdom and with his firmness. In these moments in which the United States is beating the war drums, wisdom and firmness. Why? So that together the Latin Americans and Caribbeans may continue to defend ourselves, the right to peace, stability, to the security of our countries. While well, there was widespread praise for Castro from foreign dignitaries, TRT World's Edistian Shan says the sentiment is not shared by everyone. Thousands of Cubans gathered at the Revolution Square in the symbolic center of the capital, Habana, paying their respects to their late leader, Fidel Castro. Many people have been uh, shuttled by their workplaces over here, and many younger students are brought in by their schools. But we also see some people who voluntarily come with their families to participate in these ceremonies. Some of them have waited so long in this space that occasionally you see people fainting, and these first responders will immediately carry them away. But nevertheless, they are still waiting out here. You see many of them carrying Cuban flags, portraits of Fidel Castro, and they are all tentatively listening to speeches made by foreign dignitaries who are hosted in Havana these days. At this point, you can see, you can hear Ava Morales speaking, the Bolivian president. Before him, you've heard from many Latin American leaders, but also there are representatives from as far as uh, Greece and South Africa and Iran, and they are all here praising Fidel Castro for being a voice for the poor. And also, they all emphasize that his legacy uh, went far beyond the borders of Cuba, influen influencing world affairs. And these praises are met by uh, huge cheers uh, by these crowds. But we understand that this sentiment is not shared among all of the Cubans, particularly those who had to flee this country under the totalitarian regime of Fidel Castro at the time. But nevertheless, one thing everybody agrees on is that he's been one of the most influential figures of of the 20th century. On Wednesday, his remains will be taken on a three-day-long journey, some 900 kilometers across the country, so that those who couldn't make it to Havana could still pay their respects.